So you have an Intel Mac and it runs Windows 10 natively on boot camp, but you want it to run Windows 11. Well, I have my Intel MacBook Pro here and it runs Windows 11, you can see natively on boot camp. And let me show you how to do this thing. And let's start the video. All right, first you need a Windows 10 ISO. If you already have Windows 10 ISO, you can skip to this timestamp right here. So, you need Windows 10 because Bootcamp only takes Windows 10. So you can get the ISO from Microsoft website. If you don't know how to get it, you need to go to any of your favorite web browser. In my case, I prefer to use Chrome because I like to use Chrome on Mac. And you need to Google Windows 10 download. Go to the first link on the top. And you can see we are in this page right now. So scroll down, select Edition, Windows 10 Monitor Edition ISO. Click Confirm. So it asks for the product language. I'm going for English and you can see right here it shows 32 bit and 64 bit download choose the 64 bit download and it's downloading right there so the reason you need 64 bit version of Windows 10 which is most of the Mac that r can run Windows 10 are 64 bit so you can see right here it's downloading and we have four minutes left so that's good all right it's down downloading now we need to go to bootcamp assistant just all this stuff continue and you can see right here it just default to this because I actually installed bootcamp a couple months ago and I removed it like recently so I want to reinstall bootcamp again when you first time open this it's pretty much go ask you to choose so I'm going to choose the new version of the ISO file so you can see right here and I will give, I will give it one terabyte because that will be enough for me right so you need to hit install and it's downloading windows support for software pretty much all the drivers bootcamp drivers every driver that it needs so yeah we have to wait all right looks like it's restarting and it will boot to Windows right now. So that's yeah, doing a chime and now it's on Windows 10. Alright, so you can see right here English, US keyboard, layout. Next, I don't have product key. If you have product key, you can just straight away put it in if you want to. So I will click I don't have product key and you can choose version of Windows that you want. In my case, I will go for Windows 10 Pro. You can go any version if that you want. So, hit next. Accept license terms and next again. And it's copying all the Windows files. All right, so you can see we are in Windows 10 setup. All right, so now it shows this bootcamp installer. So hit install, accept the terms, and now we have to wait. All right, so it shows bootcamp install complete and it asks us to restart, so hit finish. Make sure this restart is checked. All right, it's done. And now I'm going to show you the setup for Windows 11. All right, so I've been using Windows 10 for, I don't know, like, I think like a couple weeks now. And I'm going to upgrade it today. So you can see right here, this window is completely not fresh anymore, which is good thing because I can show you guys that you can actually upgrade from windows 10 to windows 11 without like fresh install so all you need to do is go to this website right here um i will link it in the description so this is the website that guides how to make this thing work and i make a video about it so we just scroll down scroll down until you saw this thing right here so you scroll down and click windows 11 upgrade underscore english.zip so if this website is gone, I will link this link to this GitHub in the description. Once you're in GitHub, click this, Windows 11 upgradeenglish So it will download the zip file. Once you download, click this, 
if you're using edge you need to extract the files which it will extract here and I don't know why it closed but you can see it works so um, you need to go to Windows 11 upgrade you can see the prompt it will show right here and now you can see it, it show choose one of the options below so if you have the Windows 11 ISO file you click this and just find where you kept the ISO file since I don't have it I will click download Windows 11 ISO file and here you go you can see you can choose whatever language you want I'm going to choose English and click download English Windows 11 ISO so this will depend how fast is your internet speed so we'll have to wait oh it looks like it's about to done downloading which is 99% right now and it's done all right so it lets you choose like which option to choose that's upgrade data only and clean install i would recommend do upgrade because it's much better make sure the blue dot is on upgrade and click install system and it's initialization and it will disappear now you can see it showed up this thing so getting windows update it, it's trying to find all the updates that it, that it can find so as you can see it's checking for updates which this might take some time so you have to wait for this while it's trying to find the updates now it's installing windows 11 All right, it's about to done and I think it's going to restart again. Um, okay, it's, I don't think it's going to, all right. That, I thought it's about to going to restart, but it put to Windows. So if you have password, put, put in your password. Okay, it's about to done. And there we go. Windows 11, make sure go to settings, go to Windows update and make sure to download all the updates so that you can get the best experience on Windows 11. So I have like three updates right here, which I'm going to download. All right, so gonna restart. So let's see anything else. Um, just gonna try. All right, so if you see this, you're pretty much done. So this is a bonus. If you go to bootcamp control panel and when you see startup desk, it shows this highlighted. So basically what it does is when you turn on your Mac, it will boot to Windows. If you want your Mac always boot to Mac OS instead of Windows, click this and just hit restart. And hit restart and OK. And all you need to do is wait. That's pretty much it. Now you have to wait to restart. And there you go. Every time when you boot up your Mac, it will always boot to macOS.